Hey, what's up guys? It's Ralph with Pondscapes and we are at yet another remodel. Let's talk about what we're gonna go through on this project. All right guys, so what we have here is unfortunately a very young pond. It's only about three years old. And we've got approximately a 10 by 12 pond that was done with some great components. We've got aquascape components in here, but it's a little undersized and it's really not set properly. We, when we create a waterfall, we wanna have a push pull effect. You can see the skimmer is pushed over to the side which leaves this whole area stagnant. So we're gonna relocate a skimmer right over here so when that water flows, it pushes directly across. All right, another issue that we have is the back of this waterfall. It's really jacked up higher than it needs to be and it's not really aesthetically pleasing to the homeowners. And on top of a major issue that we have here, the liner was never actually secured to the face of the, the biofalls. It was brought under the biofall. So you can see we've got some pretty significant leaking back here, which adds to another issue, problems with mosquitoes getting in here and uh, repopulating. So we're gonna wipe the slate clean and put something that's not only better functioning, but more aesthetically pleasing and safer to maneuver around. So another issue that uh, they were dealing with is when this pond was excavated, it was in a very much of a bowl manner. So you can kind of see how the, the, uh, the bottom of that pond just tapers down. So when all these round pebble were built up, over time, this gets slick and they just tumble and fall into the middle of the pond, basically making the pond more shallow and exposing all the liner around the edges. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this out of here and shelve this like we would on a, uh, any one of our other builds and create some boulder shelves topped off with smaller gravel on the flat portion and then work our way up and then have some big beautiful boulders around the edges that you can sit on, stand on and walk sure-footed on. So that's the task at hand on this particular project. So let's talk about the hurdles. Here is our access and here is the roof. So this is our access point. We had to take that top off because this is way too short for us to fit through here comfortably. Now the side yard is uh, pretty nice, easy access. But uh, again, that machine had to get the top taken off. We're rolling convertible style on this particular project. As soon as we're all done, we're gonna put that shade back on. All right, Blake, plug it in. So other than the sweltering humidity, everything is going pretty good. We've got the pond totally drained, most of all the gravel out of it. Uh, Blake just cut that pipe that we saw on the back side. So now we're gonna see what happens and just what I thought. All right, so perfect example. Let's get a closer look at this. Look at this staining right here, guys. So you see all that staining, that's water just dripping back. Now, you can see what happened here. Water was dripping back off the face of that biofall, landing right down in here. This is uh, just a concrete um, little bowl that they created. And look at all of those little insects. I don't know what kind of larvae that is, but uh, you can see back here where Blake just cut, and you can see the cracks in the concrete. So it's going straight down into the ground. So big source of water loss and we're going to fix that. All 
right, we are back and it is time to get this hole cleaned up to uh, get that fabric and liner in so we can start rocking. Okay, so we've got a little bit of an issue right here. Uh, yesterday, this is where we dug out the old waterfall. And you can see where that liner and that fabric, the fabric was leaching into the dirt. The liner actually came out of the pond and kind of uh, spilled back downward. So there was all kinds of leaking happening here. We opened this area up and uh, was hoping it would be dry today, but now it is time to set the biofall and this is about where it's gonna go. But you can see what's happening is we've got a lot of moisture still in the dirt, so it's pumping. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just dig some of this out, just dig out a big hole, pull all that wet soil out. We've got plenty of dry stuff. I'm gonna backfill that, compact it. That way we've got a good solid foundation to put that biofalls on. We've got the excavation totally swept out and right now Jaron is pressing anything that might be sticking up down into the ground, getting a nice level foundation and then fine tune walking, making sure that we get any little pebbles picked up. And then we're gonna drop in that fabric and of course our liner and then we can get to rocking. Just when you think everything is going perfect, we got a nice overcast day. It's gonna be nice and cool. The rain is coming. Mm. Right now that is a wrap. We got this thing totally remodeled. Same exact footprint. What a difference. So remember before we had that bowl effect on the sides, all of these, uh, these stones here were kind of the ones that were sticking out and then uh, everything that was on the edges just kind of slid down to the bottom. So, so the original pond ended up being more shallow over time because everything slid down to the middle. So now we've got that stair step effect that keeps everything locked in place. And I love the way this waterfall turned out. They've got tons of aeration stepping down, splashing into that pond and pushing that water straight across into the skimmer. We're not interrupted. We don't have the skimmer off to the side where we have a big dead zone. We've got that perfect push-pull effect. And of course, lights inside, lights next to the water feature. This thing turned out awesome. All right, guys, we are all done with your project. Now, this has been a remodel that we've been waiting for since 
Was it January? I think we've been waiting for it for three or four years, but since the first one went in. Yeah. But, uh, Tell me about that. Why are we redoing this? Or why did we redo oh, this? Oh, because the first pond was a mishmash of round rock that were not anchored in place. So anywhere you step, you'd slip and the rocks would fall into the pond, which was like a big spoon. It was just... How yeah. was that for the grandkids coming nearby? It was... We had to warn them not to walk anywhere near the edge of the pond. We had to, we had to warn him not to walk anywhere near yeah, the edge of the pond. Yeah, that too. <laughs> <laughs> now, how do you feel about this transformation? This is much, oh. much. Uh, a thousand percent better? Oh, a thousand percent. Every rock is solid. You feel sure-footed walking on any piece of rock, and that's amazing. Plus, there's a sitting area where you can put your feet into the water and have the fish uh, trim your nails. And <laughs> you, you, you can pay, you know, have people pay admission to come to do that. There you go, yeah. Mm. That's what I yeah we'll just, something for the neighbors. <laughs> All right, guys, this is what it's all about. These smiles, and unfortunately, this is the second time they had to go through this process, but it is a much better outcome. They're much happier with what they had to live with and spend time next to. Can't wait to uh, hear about the family coming over and hanging out, having barbecue. If you like this video, let us know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.